we have a right triangle, and we have inscribed a circle in it like this, such that the length of this piece is one unit, and the length of this piece is three units. Using only this piece of information, we need to find the area of this right triangle. So, can you solve it? First, I will show you the classical way to solve this problem, and then after that, I will be revealing the trick to solve this question in just one second. Yes, this definitely works. So as a first step, we will generalize this problem by labeling this piece as P and this piece as Q. Then we will also label the radius of this circle as R. Now here comes the magic. The two tangents theorem. If two tangents are drawn to a circle from a single external point, then these tangents will always be equal in length. Now look at this point of the triangle. These two line segments will act as the tangents of this circle, right? So the length of this piece will be the same as the length of this piece, or this will also be equal to Q. Similarly, look at this point of the triangle. These two line segments will act as the tangents of this circle, right? So the length of this piece will be the same as the length of this piece, or this will also be equal to P. Now, look at this theorem. Theorem of tangent and radius. A tangent is a straight line that touches the circle at exactly one point without crossing it. The important property of a tangent is that it is always perpendicular to the radius at the point where it touches the circle. So if we draw a radius like this to this circle, then it will be perpendicular to this side of the triangle as this side is a tangent to the circle. Similarly, if we draw a radius like this, then this will also be 90 degrees. Wow, this is so cool, because both of them are 90 degrees, and this is also 90 degrees. So this remaining angle will also be a right angle. Also, this quadrilateral has length and width the same as R. So this quadrilateral is nothing but a square of side length R. This means this will also be R, and this will also be R. Woohoo! Do you also notice the same thing that I am seeing? Yes. The length of this side of the triangle is P plus R, and the length of this side of the triangle is Q plus R. Also, the length of the hypotenuse will be equal to P plus Q. So for a right triangle, its area is the same as half times the product of its side length, or half times R plus P times R plus Q. Now let us expand this. R times R is R square. R times Q is RQ. Then R times P is RP, and P times Q is PQ. Collect the like terms, and we finally get the area as half times R square plus P plus Q times R plus PQ. But hey, we only have the data about P and Q, and we know nothing about R. So what to do? Folks, we have not used our ultimate weapon yet. Remember, this is a right triangle, and therefore we will be using Pythagoras' theorem. So we get R plus P whole square plus R plus Q. Whole square equals the hypotenuse will be P plus Q, and thus square this as well. We are getting closer to the climax. Now expand them one by one. We get R square plus 2, PR plus P square plus. This will give R square plus 2, QR plus Q square. This will give P square plus 2, PQ plus Q square. Oh my God. P square and Q square will be canceled out, and we are left with 2R square plus 2, PR plus 2, QR equals 2, PQ. Divide by 2 from all sides to get rid of it. Now take R as common from both of them to get R times P plus Q. Now do one thing. Add PQ on both sides to get R square plus P plus Q times R plus PQ equals PQ plus PQ, which becomes 2 times PQ. I am having goosebumps right now. Look at the value of this area. This thing is the same as this expression right here. So it will be the same as 2 times PQ. Thus, we finally get the area of this right triangle as PQ. And that's it. This is the trick, people. No need to find sides or radius or anything else. Just multiply the two given tangent pieces together. This trick works beautifully, 
for any right triangle with an inscribed circle where you know those two segments. Let's plug in the numbers. We have P as 1 and Q as 3, and that gives us the area as 3 square units. Just for fun, can you let me know in the comments what will be the radius of this circle? Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. So good! Uh...